Hi dear subscribers, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this lovely gorgeous hat. See how it looks? Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so here are the materials we'll be making use of in making this gorgeous looking lovely black hat that can be worn in all occasions. So we're going to be making use of the scissor hat. Now I love to take as in any time I'm doing anything if there's a way to make it easier and faster I make two of it. Then this is our hot water, our scissor hat again. Then we have our dye, the Dillion dye. I made use of two of it. This is the black dye that I made use of. They are the local ones there also. Then that is our window cinnamon. Okay, then I made use of nylon, my gloves were wonderful. So the first thing you do is put in your Dillion dye into the hot water. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. Then you use your stick and turn it round. Okay, then I take my scissor hat and place it inside. Okay, but when I did that, I noticed it, did, it wasn't enough. Okay, yeah, I forgot to say I put in salt. Don't forget your salt. Okay, so I made use of two dyes finally. Okay. Now I'm dipping it all in with the window cinnamon as well and I'm going to use things and put on. Okay, so now we're going to make use of our crown, nylon as a one to mold right now. We're going to make use of this oil base, that's my soulmate, then that's stiffener, and that's tom tags or tom pins, rubber band. I'm making use of two of those rubber bands, then that's the brim of the heart, and that's the dyed scissor hats. So the first thing you want to do is cover both your crown and your base. You've seen that I've already covered the base. So I'm covering my crown. Now when you cover your crown, you want to make sure it doesn't puff up like that. So I'm going to cut out that other edge so that it's flat enough to be placed on the base. So that's what you do. Okay, and don't forget to put your Vaseline or hair cream yeah, baby oil, those three are okay that you can use around it so that your mold will come out easily. So that is it. So the next thing I'm going to do is get my stiffener and put I put in the same water that was dripping out from the um, hat that I dyed. Ensure also that you rinse off your hat when you're done. I rinsed it off to remove the excess dye on it with cold water. Okay, so I'm that's my stiffener and the consistency is okay. So I folded my hat like so. Okay. So you turn it around and ensure the stiffener gets to all the parts of the hat. Alright. So that's what I'm doing. Getting everything in so that everything is touched and I'm checking all the areas. Once done. Okay, I do like that. That helps me to move everything in. And now this is how you do it. I've placed my brain on top, my crown on top of my brain. So now I'm placing the hat like so. Okay, that's how the scissor hat is. You can use it to mold any shape. So once you get it, you get the mold that you want it to take its shape, and you do. So after you put it in the crown, you use your rubber band there. You're not going to use thumb tacks. No, at that area, you just use your rubber band to hold it there. I made use of two. Then you can see that it goes, it's longer, it actually stretches, so it's longer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my thumb tag to hold it at the edge of the brim there. Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm going to be doing this all the way around. I did my north, south, east and west. And you can see how I'm using my hand to spread it all the way down to ensure it is smooth. Do you understand? Like this, see? You do like this. Can you see what I'm doing? That movement. Then you leave it out to dry. A day is all you need. Okay, now in the next phase, we'll be needing our needle and thread, black of course. Then our window cinnamon, scissors. Oh, before we proceed, do click that subscribe button. You can see that when you watch my channel, you gain lovely tips and tricks. Of course, I'm sure some of you would have started to mold your hat from the base, as in get cinnamon and all that. But now you know about scissor hats. 
now you get to know about so many lovely things in my channel so click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified of any new trainings okay so that's my cinnamon that i just moved out there that i'll be needing that's the hat we just molded you see how it has come out so i'm going to pull it out of the mold right now it has dried under the sun it took just a day to dry and it dried firmly well and was stiff so that's how you take it off the mold yeah and it is out see our heart is set okay not fully set anyway so let's proceed so we take that mold away okay now you can see that edge now i'm going to cut out that part all the way the lines is i'm going to take scissors and cut it all out so just keep watching and learning okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out my window cinnamon and I'm going to cut it out on the bias. I'm going to be cutting out some strips I'm going to be using to decorate the hat, to design the hat rather. So you cut it on the bias, that's diagonally because that is the place where it stretches and take the shape of what you want. Okay? So I, I measured them, um, it should be three inches and I cut it out on both sides. Okay, no, I cut four inches rather, sorry. So I'm doing four inches all the way down to cut out and get my strip. So I'm going to cut it all the way down. Now I'm going to be using cinnamon bias to wrap it up. Now, if you want to know how to make cinnamon bias, cinnamon strips, you do want to join in Fascinator Class 3. You'll get to know how to make different things with your cinnamon. So all you need to do is go to the description of this channel you would see the Vent Craft Academy reception. Click on that link and it will take you there and you ask for Fascinator Class 3 to get to know how to work with your cinnamon. Okay, let's get back to today's training. So that's my cinnamon bias that I have made. I made it um, three, I think five inches wide. Okay, so now I'm using B6000 to glue it all the way around. So that's going to be like, you know, like your normal bias. Instead of bias, you use cinnamon strips. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing the same thing to the window cinnamon that I cut out. Remember, this is 4 inches. So I'm going to be putting it with B6000. I'm going to be gluing it all the way around. Now, remember why we make use of pegs? is so that we don't have to start waiting with our hands for it to dry. Once you use your pegs, you can walk faster. So I'm going to be doing that all the way around like so. So keep watching and learning. Now, if you're gaining value from this video so far, please do pause and click that like button below to let me know you are gaining value from this video. Thank you. So now we have all our strips ready, the window cinnamon, can you see how it is all wrapped? And now I'm going to be using it to decorate this lovely heart. So just keep watching and you'll see how I do it. Now this was all ironed. After you have cut out your cinnamon, the 4 inches of the window cinnamon, you iron it. When you iron it, it tends to get hard and take the shape, the shape you want. Then I use cinnamon bias around the edges as you can see and makes it look so beautiful. So now I'm going to just use it and decorate our heart. So keep watching and learning.
okay and don't forget if you stay to the end of my video there's always a challenge to if you're the winner to get a gift so do stay to the end of the video so that you will partake and probably be the lucky winner for today's video keep watching and learning
and that's how you make this gorgeous looking lovely hat can you see i also use use them i sew there so that it stays firmly just in a way you saw that the thread doesn't so i'm um, sure remember if you watched my trainings you know what to do and that is how you make this gorgeous looking lovely hat once more i'm saying that again <laughs> all right so for staying with me till the very end of this video i would like you to tell me what cinnamon did we make use of how many cinnamon did we make use of and what are their names the first person to get it gets to attend fascinator class three for free so you get to know how to make the cinnamon loops the cinnamon bias and all that so i await to see the winner so before then it's goodbye and god bless don't forget if you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button thank you